Welcome to the Smoking Gorilla Lounge. I'm Eric. And I'm Dave. And tonight we're going to be reviewing the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso from Tabacalera of Fuente y Sia in the Dominican Republic. Wrapper's uh, Cameroon, Dominican Republic filler and binder. It's uh, five and like five and three eighths by 52. It's a uh, $11.75 thick. So it's a little pricey, but you know, it's in the upper echelon of our cigars here that we review. Hmm, it is. What do you got over there? Well, you know, definitely, you know, Bellicoso has that kind of tapered, you know. Girth to it. Girth to it. Yeah. The girth, here's the girth again. Yeah. Slightly modeled wrapper. Mine's slightly modeled. Is yours modeled? Yeah. Is that a brindle? Got some brindle there. Brindle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're dog lovers here in the lounge, so we, I do love we dogs. speak of brindle. Yeah. Are horses brindle too? Yeah, brindle horse, I believe, yeah. Brindle coat. Usually everybody bets on the gray. They do. If there's a gray, they always bet on the gray. Why is that? Yeah, because it's a gray horse. You don't see too many of them. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I like my shirt, gray. That's true. So you want to bet on this horse right here. Okay, all right. We'll bet on that horse. It's a light, medium brown color. Again, it's slightly mottled. Um, Kind of a light, light hay odor on the wrapper and hay on the foot too. What do you, what do you got? Uh, not a whole lot from the wrapper. Maybe a slight tobacco and a bit of earth on the foot. Is what I'm getting. Mm. So nice. Yeah, Looks you want to clip, clip this up? up? Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, um, this cigar line was uh, in honor of the oldest Fuente, 80 year anniversary, and they, the Fuentes came out with this line of cigars. Great draw on this, and uh, so it's been, you know, pretty, probably aged well. Um, and getting that, you know, typical Fuente kind of sweet on the palate thing, yep. the tongue. Yeah, the delicious, distinctive sweet on the tongue. Light them up? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Girthy cigar to be lighting with a little match. It is. Yeah. I have to go some more. Okay. Well, I'm lighting really, it up. Really pleasant, yeah. Um, so I'm getting like, you know, the sweet and the little kind of fruity uh, on the light. Kind of almost like a tropical fruit on the palate. Yeah, got that sweet. Probably some of that Cameroon in there. Distinctive Fuente. Um, not a whole lot to begin with, though. You know, just that sweetness and that kind of. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. All right. We're gonna get into this thing. Yes, sir. And we will be back for the first third of the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso. With the Cameroon wrapper. Yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to Smoking Gorilla Lounge, where we are reviewing the first third of the Don Carlos Bellicoso by Arturo Fuente. Um, the beginning of this uh, cigar, first third, has given me uh, kind of a floral aroma with uh, like kind of a burnt cedar. And then on the palate, it's kind of a light fruity flavor. I want it, it tastes like Fruit Loops. Kind of what I'm getting. It's like kind of fruity, manufactured fruit. Fruit Loop kind of flavor. Oh, you got the toucan yeah. going on there. Got a pretty good ash going for, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's it's drawn well. Mine's drawn well. Mine's and, a little uh, tight. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, so far it's pretty pleasant. Mm. What are you getting? Well, I'm getting that sweetness on the tongue still. That's the first thing that hits me. And um, there's some cedar notes. It's woody. Definitely. A uh, bit of oil on the tongue, but it's fresh, um, which means it's not really coating the tongue, but it's there. Yeah. Um, the ammonia is a bit there too. Getting a little ammonia, so it's a little young yet. 
Yeah, you know. Could have um, sat for 25 years. Can lay it down, lay yeah. it down. Yeah, definitely. My wrapper's starting to kind of get come up. I guess that's a Fuente trait, right? Yeah, kind of. You know, thin wrappers are. Although this is the camera lens, it's a little thicker than some of the other Fuente wrappers that I can remember. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and the smoke isn't real heavy, so you know. You can play around with smoke rings a little, but it's not real super creamy uh, for smoke rings. I guess if you put a Fuente band on there, oh. the wrapper's gonna come up. Maybe that's what happens. Yeah. There's like a chemical reaction. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't Probably know. Not. I really don't know, but yeah, it, is, it smells a little young. Definitely yeah. a little bit young. It could sit, sit for six months or something. I don't know. Year. Something. Yeah. Just get some of that out. But the, what's really bizarre though is that the the tannins, there's not a lot of bitterness though, too, on it. You know, it's mostly a sweet flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Which, really typical of Fuente. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the uh, beginning of the cigar, the first third. We will be back for the second third of the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso hashtag AFDCB. Wow, that was good. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Smoking Grill Lounge, where we are reviewing the, uh, now we're into the second third of the uh, Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso. Um, flavors are still there on the, the aroma for me. I'm still getting the, uh, the burnt cedar and uh, kind of floral uh, aroma. The palate has kind of morphed into it's more of a. I'm getting picking up like it's it's kind of it's kind of muted, but it's like a nuttiness and and and, and the burnt cedar is also in there with it. Um, it's sort of uh, I don't know. I'm picking up a little bit of chlorine now, kind of that what you were talking about. I'm, I'm calling it chlorine. He's calling it ammonia. It's the whatever that kind of young yeah young cigar, young tobacco thing. Yes, is. definitely. What are you getting? Well, well, the floral the floral aroma. Uh, it's definitely the predominant note here um, that's kind of stayed with the cigar as well as the woodiness. Um, woodiness? Yeah, woodiness, like Woody Harrelson, you know? So we can call this cigar, we'll call it Woody Harrelson. Yeah, it's well constructed though. Um, there is that bit of nuttiness too that I'm getting on the top of the palate. Mm -hmm. My palate isn't coated with smoke, just kind of enters and exits and... Um, Comes and goes. Yeah, kind of comes and goes. Yeah. And my palate's a bit dry. I've been drinking some water, a lot of water with this thing. And uh, hey, let me look you on the ammonia. I mean, uh, okay, all right. I just gotta say, now. Here we go. <laughs> I just gotta say, I just wish these guys would put like a box coat on there or something, you know, like, you know, Cuban cigars, you have the, the month, you have, The year and you have the factory. Well, you know, obviously it's going to be the Fuente factory is going to be wherever it's at, but I don't really think that a lot of these guys um, do that. Where these they, guys, who are we referring to, these guys? These guys that don't manufacture. Cuban cigars. So the domestic, we'll call them, or... Yeah, the, the domestic, the American market yeah, cigar kind yeah. of stuff. Um, and so I would like to know that this cigar was manufactured... ...in December in 2015. And so I'm gonna know that like, hey, I, I'm gonna lay this thing down for a little while because if, if it's you know March of 2016, the cigar's only been in the box for like four or five months, four months. So I'm gonna wanna wait at least a year to do that, to, mm -hmm. to like, you know, get rid of some of the, the tannins or whatever it is that when you age a cigar, it starts to mellow out and stuff like that. 
and be able to keep something in my humidor for later on down the road, like it's a five-year-old cigar or whatever. So, yeah, to me, I'm just, um, that, that's, that's kind of my little rant for, for this evening on this, is that I was in New York um, one time and George Padron was there and he actually could look at the box and he could tell you what it was. He said, hey, they were, you know, these cigars were made here, blah, blah, blah. And he could look at the little code that he had on there. But for the average Joe, like me, mm. average dude, right, like me, I can't tell that. And I would really appreciate it if everybody kind of did that. Okay. It would kind of make it, I don't know, where I could get that box and I can look at it and... Yeah, so you know, you can date it and, and you know, you know... Yeah, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, that's basically where I'm at with that is that I just want to see something that's definitive on there. Okay. So. Something measurable. But time. Measurable. Yeah. Definitely. Certainly. Systems. Mm -hmm. Right? Like what you're, you were with systems and procedures and. What was? what was that called? I don't know. Control. Systems and controls. Lots of controls. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? yeah sure. I want some systems and controls in there. Okay. Anyway. Sounds good. So, we're going to smoke through the second third and we get back to the third third of the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Smoking Gorilla Lounge for the final third of the Arturo Fuente, Don Carlos Bellicoso. Um, What's he doing back there? He's playing the bagpipes. <laughs> he's playing the bagpipes? Yeah, you haven't seen his app? He's got, <laughs> he's got a, a bagpipe app for his, his iPhone. <laughs> McNaughton Productions in full swing. Playing the bag. Are you, Are you bored, bored, Director Greg? Is that what you're trying to tell us? No, this app he's blowing into the bottom of, like, into the bottom of his phone. But you got to cup your iPhone like this when you blow into it, right? You need to cup the iPhone properly, like a bagpipe. You know, when you're blowing into it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of uh, like this cigar, right? Kind of like that, yeah. You know, this is a good, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're playing the bagpipes on your iPhone, I mean, that's kind of funny. I mean, it is pretty funny. A little weird, but. <laughs> it's funny. He's back there going like. <laughs> what? So I was like, well, what's he doing back there? And then all of a sudden I hear bagpipe music. I'm like, oh, what the hell is going on here? I thought we were reviewing a cigar. But McNaughton Productions has a whole different take on this he's, he's, spin. He's got, he's got to put the Scottish agenda in here. Oh my gosh. It's, you know, it's a good golf cigar, and golf was invented in Scotland, so you know, I could, we could tie it together. You know. uh, okay, yeah. All right. Thank you, Director Greg. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that a lot. Pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, we're working our way into the final third of this cigar. Working um, our way into the last third of the working cigar. Working our way. Yes. Mick Dave. Mick <laughs> 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 Dude, to you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, you know, still getting the uh, kind of... Uh, Floral and cedar uh, aroma, burnt cedar, and then on the palate also uh, getting some fruitiness and burnt cedar, you know, dragging back into the the last part of this cigar. Um, but you know, it's it's been pretty enjoyable. I, I, I like the the Cameron wrapper. I mean, I'm partial to them anyway on a cigar. Big so, fan. Big I am fan a big of fan of Cameron. Of Cameron. Yeah. yeah, definitely. What are you getting on the? Well, you know, I'm getting that. Uh, that Woody Harrelson and floral on here. I guess we just call it the Woody Harrelson. This is the Woody Harrelson cigar. Yeah, just it is a lot a of a lot of burnt cedar, a lot of wood. Yeah, to get that sweetness. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, you know, surprisingly, there's no bitterness on the tongue no. um, on this cigar, which is nice. Mm. You know, big fan of not yeah. having bitter in there. What the hell? <clears throat> Director Greg's back there playing on his cell phone. You know, his uh, iPhone back there. So there's a bit of nuttiness, a bit of sweetness, and it's pleasant but not intense. Yeah, it's pretty That's nice. That's what I'm gonna have to say about this cigar. Alrighty. What are we doing now? He's massaging this thing. 
<laughs> it's not what it looks like from here. All I can see are hands moving and the camera's blocking everything else. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so you are officially. I'm glad, I'm glad I can entertain you. Guys. You're officially crazy now. Well, man, because it went. All I saw was this, and you know, and then it went. Then it went to this. You know, I just. And I don't all know. I see up there is. <laughs> oh man, brutal. It's very harsh. It's a, this is a harsh environment here, isn't mm -hmm. it? So pretty he's funny. getting a buzz on the smoke or something. I think like he that. is. I think he's getting. He's getting giddy. Giddy. That's a Scottish word. Giddy. Getting okay. giddy, are you, McNaughton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, out of 10 uh, golf balls, no, out of 10... Bagpipes. Out of 10 bagpipes, what would you rate <laughs> Come this on, cigar? now, let's stick with the Scottish theme here. <laughs> 10 bagpipes, out of 10 bagpipes? Yeah. I'm going to give the Woody Harrelson six and a half bagpipes. Just the floral and cedar were the prominent notes here with a touch of sweetness and some nuttiness in the end. But basically, you know, there was really, I don't know if it warranted number four on the list. Maybe they got a different batch. They got the special batch from Fuente. But uh, I really, it didn't deliver that oomph in there. So right. six and a half bagpipes. Didn't knock your kilt off, right? Didn't knock my kilt off, definitely. No, uh, but I'd, I'd go with the six and a half, uh, six and a half uh, Woody Harrelson movies, I don't know. Bagpipes. Golf clubs? Golf clubs. A mashy, a niblick, and a few others? Whatever, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely, I mean, you know, I'd say in summary on this cigar, it's kind of like, because of the, the burnt wood aspect, and you gotta follow me on this, because here's my weird analogy moment. This is a weird analogy moment here. Um, it's kind of like with the burnt uh, wood and the, the fruitiness and the nuts, it was kind of like, you know, eating uh, trail mix around a campfire, kind of. Because it had sweet, you know, a little bit of nuts and salt and that sort of thing. And then you thing. got that smoke coming up from the campfire. And the bagpipes. That he's blowing it was on. It was like a Highland campfire. A little haggis. A little haggis going a little on. Scottish peat. A little peat. Yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing, for sure. I yeah, know that. Much, yeah. <clears throat> Again, the construction on the cigar is great. I mean, you know, Fuente, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Been at it for a long time. <clears throat> a long time. Yeah, so, um, uh, not quite as thin a wrapper as normal, but it's, it's starting to come apart. Yours, you said yours is coming apart because, yeah, a little bit. Actually, the second third it was coming apart. Yeah, and I had a hard time drawing on it at times too because of the wrapper or whatever. I don't know. It was just not. I had to cut it down a little bit, get it open a more. It's opening up here in the, toward the end here, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, nice even burn and. So, yeah, just based on the price and, and everything, it was kind of a stiff price. <clears throat> and I would have rated it higher, but, you know, for, was it 11 75 something like that? <clears throat> That's 12 bucks. Yeah, In some states, there are more. Steep. Yeah, right. Yeah, some states, I'm sure it would be. Well, like where I live, it's going to be like about 13 bucks for this cigar up but in L.A. You live in the Highlands. I live in the Highlands of L.A. Yeah, yes. you are. All those extra taxes up there. Yeah. you got good, long, pointy ashes. Yeah, it's because it's burning a little hot. Yeah. Just drawing the shit Dragging out of it. Dragging down a little bit, yeah. So yeah, that's why I got that pointy ash going on there. <clears throat> but uh, anyway. Yeah, pretty good good cigar though, great, you know. Good enough. Good enough, yeah. We're gonna smoke the rest of this. and We're gonna smoke it. the rest of this. So this is, uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us and this is Eric and Dave bringing the truth to the world. One cigar at a time. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs>